Mercedes-Benz says the new 10th generation E-Class is one of the most intelligent vehicles you can buy today. Come with us and let's explore five of the coolest features. Okay, so this is Drive Pilot. Basically, I'm gonna pull this lever twice and it's engaged. Now, what Drive Pilot does is read the signs on the side of the road to see how fast we should be going. Unfortunately, this sign reading feature is not gonna be available in Australia, but we're still giving it a go. And as you can see, it's getting up to speed without me touching the accelerator. As you can see, the automatic steering is guiding the car around the curve. There's little cameras in the mirrors that measure the lines in the road. And a lot of cars have this today, but uh, this is certainly one of the elements that will lead to autonomous driving in the future. This is very cool too. If I leave the indicator on for more than two seconds, it changes lane by itself. That's pretty cool. What we're demonstrating now is active braking assist with cross traffic function. Basically, our driver here, Frank, is gonna keep his foot on the throttle. There's a car coming from the left to indicate a car coming and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> that's part of that automatic braking of the car, that semi-autonomous level of the vehicle. Now, we've done it a few times and previous times, a really loud noise will pop from the speakers and that is quite incredible. It's actually to stop your inner ear having damage or possibly bursting, which can happen if the car has a crash. Basically, what we've seen over the last few demonstrations is very, very impressive safety technology. So this test in the new E-Class is called emergency congestion braking. Basically, Frank here is driving the car up to about 90 kilometers an hour. We've got three cars ahead in each lane. Often, it will try and peel left or right. I can see his foot's on the throttle. We're still going. We're gonna see what happens. That's impressive. Basically, it hasn't peeled left or right because it senses it can't. There's a like a, a ring around the car of sensors. It's detecting what's going on. And it's basically said, I'm gonna to have to go full brake and it gave us the emergency brake and your foot still on the throttle. Not sure. Now this is a really cool feature. It's called Remote Parking Pilot. And basically you can park the car with your phone. So check this out. You unlock the car, select your vehicle, connecting, connecting. It's good if you can't open the doors in a really tight garage, for instance. I want to go forward, then I just start twisting this. The car starts. The system takes a little bit of getting used to, but I gotta say, it is pretty cool. Voila, valet parked. 